Hi, I'm Pat Arnoldison, Product Manager for Industrial Control, Sensor, and Safety Products at Warner Electric Supply. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about NEC Class II circuits. What are they? How do you attain them? Why are they needed? First, let's define the NEC Class II. It's a requirement to make sure that in small, low voltage devices that we can have uh, protection from shock and fire. And the NEC defines class two as circuits under 100 VA. In today's world, we've seen our customer base move away from 120 volt control power to 24 volt DC control power. And in doing that, they've started to move away from the 120 input power supply to a 480 volt input power supply. And typically the amount of 24 volts that our customers need is much greater than uh, the two or three or four amps. So we typically find those 480 volt input power supplies to be 20 or 40 amps. Well, if the NEC requires a class two source to be 100 VA or less, that's defined as like 3.8 amps. So how can you get there um, and meet that requirement with and still use your 480 volt input power supply? There's a couple of ways that we, uh, when we look at the products, how we can attain that. One option to attain it is, of course, to use a bunch of small power supplies, right? We have many options uh, of power supplies that are under that 100 watt threshold, uh, but bear in mind that not all 100 watt power supplies or lower meet the requirements of the NEC. There's some special testing that requ that's required in order to uh, attain that certification. Another way to get it would be to use a uh, electronic circuit protector. So here in this uh, sample, we have a 10 amp power supply um, 240 watts, clearly above the 100 VA threshold, feeding a Allen Bradley 1692 electronic circuit protector. That breaks it into four circuits, all class two. So I can then feed my sensor loads or whatever those class two loads are. Let's talk a little bit about what type of devices that you're using might require that class two source. So typically photo eyes and sensors and instrumentation often the cabling that goes with them, or maybe even that Stratix Ethernet switch uh, that you're using on your networks. We also find it in safety in relays and the switches, the DC switches that go uh, on those safety circuits um, and other low voltage componentry. NEC Class II are products labeled as such, and you'll see that requirement on their label. It's a low voltage requirement under 100 VA and there's a number of ways to accomplish it, either by using smaller power supplies or using an electronic circuit protector. If you'd like more information, contact your local Warner representative.